higher. This is the first time in eight years that some current event felt so important to me that I feel the need to discuss it on my channel in English. What I'm going to talk to you about today seems even more important to me than COVID-19. We are going to talk about the dismissal of Dr. Timit Gebru, co-director of Google's AI ethics team and a renowned academic researcher. So there are still a lot of unknowns in this story, largely because each side is trying to protect itself legally. But the TLDR of my understanding, in which I have an enormous credence, is that the Google management censored a publication by its AI ethics team. And that is something deeply worrying, because as I've discussed it at length on my channel, and as it's discussed at much greater length in our book Le Fabuleux Chantier, it has arguably become urgent to think about the ethics of the algorithms from Google and other tech companies, because they are used by billions of humans on Earth. As a result, they inevitably greatly influence the information to which billions of us will be exposed on a daily basis. But there is some good news in all of this, and even a great news. Following Tim Nitkebu's dismissal, Google employees wrote a collective open letter protesting the dismissal and demanding three things from their management. One, more explanation about the censorship of the publication. Two, more transparency towards the general public including you and me. Three, a unicorical commitment to research integrity and academic freedom and respect for the principles of Google's research philosophy and Google's AI principles. At the time I am filming this video, the letter was signed by a total of 2,040 Google employees and 2,658 individuals from academia, industry and civil society. And among them, there is me. So 2,040 is a lot. But Google is almost 100,000 employees. So it's still a small fraction of all of Google's employees. And as for 2,658, well, this is almost disappointing. What I'd like is for these numbers to be at least in the orders of the tens of thousands. So the main reason I'm making this video is to try to convince more of you to support the open letter not only to support Timit Gebru, whose dismissal took place under very strange conditions, especially in the opinion of her own manager, who found out about it after the fact, but also and above all, to support research and discussions on the ethics of algorithms, not only at Google, but also in the other companies, in the academic world and beyond. Yes, because this letter is not a reaction to a simple news item. It is a reaction to a censorship of research on the ethics of the world's most sophisticated and influential algorithms. Today, Google search responds to billions of queries per day, and YouTube recommendation algorithm is responsible for 70% of the billions of videos views on the platform. In other words, two times out of three, when an individual watches a video, it's because YouTube's algorithm recommended that video. However, numerous researches show that the impact of this algorithm has long been catastrophic with conspiracy theories that make millions if not billions of cumulative views, videos that deny climate change that make almost as many views as those that explain it, and content that propagates dangerous public health misinformation. Conversely, high quality videos could make a lot more views if Google were more willing to promote reliable information. Recently at Google, there have been a lot of ethical progress, such as the recruitment of Timit Gobu in 2018, the investment in the AI ethics team she has built, the many academic publications of this team, or even the prestigious Fairness Accountability Transparency Conference, which Timit Gobu helped to create and which is organized by the ACM, the International Association for Computer Science Research. But more generally, all these signals have certainly helped to create a culture within Google that makes researchers and engineers aware of the risks of their algorithms and that puts pressure on Google's management, as was the case when engineers refused to collaborate with the US military. To some extent, these ethical advances have been validated by the addition of banners during the COVID-19 crisis that redirect to Wikipedia or to the World Health Organization website, or by the external audit of different groups of researchers that show that YouTube decreased the recommendation of dangerous misinformation on some topics. However, according to these papers, this is still largely insufficient and we need a lot more investment in the AI ethics and safety teams at Google.
but at least we should recognize that there has been some clear progress, including collaborations with external academics to study the social impact of Google's algorithms, as in the case of the famous publication by Timnit Gobu and her colleagues, which seems to have been accepted initially by Google's management. However, Timnit Gobu's dismissal seriously undermines this culture of ethical responsibility. Above all, it sends the wrong kind of signals to every Google employee. Don't question our products or you will be fired. It is critical that there be a proportionate response to this horrible signal. In my opinion, so far, the response is good, but it is not yet proportionate. In order for it to be proportionate, it is critical that this open letter get a lot more support from a lot more people, both from inside Google, but also from outside. This is our opportunity to tell Google that our concerns about their algorithms cannot be swept under the rug, to demand more transparency, and above all, to much more value the security and ethical dimensions of their algorithms. Given the influence that Google's algorithms have today, and the concerns to be had on the quality of the information disseminated on the internet, it seems to me that this is critical for the future of humanity. In fact, the signal that we are sending through this letter should not be limited to Google. It is also an opportunity to tell the management of other companies, Facebook, Twitter, Amazon, Microsoft, or Apple, that the ethics of their algorithms must be taken very seriously and that any concerns raised internally or externally must be treated with care and respect. It is also an opportunity to tell all computer science researchers that improving the performances of the algorithms they design should not be their main concern. Even today, it is much cooler and much more valued to discover a new algorithm that solves a problem faster than previous algorithms, or to show that some implementation can achieve performance according to some metric by a factor 1.5, than to raise and solve ethical issues with this or that deployment of this or that algorithm. Such papers on ethics or safety are much more easily rejected by peer review, and the researchers involved in them will therefore have fewer job opportunities to stay in the academic world. More generally, we are currently giving very bad incentives to public research. Finally, this open letter is an opportunity to tell other researchers from other disciplines that if they do themselves research on the ethical issues of algorithms on social networks, they will be listened to and not ignored or sued by organizations like Google. In particular, it seems critical to me that research in ethics be done both by Google researchers who analyze algorithms and data that only Google has and which are difficult to share for privacy reasons, but also and especially, this research should be done outside of Google too, where academic freedom will make it easier to criticize Google's products and thus to avoid some ethics washing that is unfortunately way too common these days. Making large-scale algorithms robustly beneficial is a fabulous endeavor, but to initiate it, it is urgent that we show that we care enough about it. And the best way to do this today is surely to sign the open letter whose link is in the description.